Hello and welcome to Tech Genius. My name is Chandra and I am a technology explorer. In this video, we will talk about a Spring War 2 resource server, how we can make use of a Spring War 2 resource server to secure our APIs and how to validate the JOT tokens. The questions that will be coming to us is now I have a token generation mechanism, right? You can generate the token via key clock, via Okta, via ping ID and any other authorization server that you have or you can have a spring authorization server as well right the basic authorization server you have a token you have a JWT right what's next right how do I secure my APIs now then and once I have secured my APIs how can I do the token validation right whether the token is expired or not whether this token generated by the authorization server that I have to validate right so we'll see all the points in a hands-on session. So for the first point, right, token generation mechanism, let's see. I am running key clock server. For the master realm, we are generating the token, open ID connect token. So when I click on send, I got the access token. So let's try and see what this token contains. Okay, this is my key clock running. Let's go to jwt.io and see what's the content of this token so this is using algorithm rs256 it is of type jot jwt and this is the key id right so you can see right you have everything here expiry issue date jti issuer who is the issuer of this token audience right subject type then azp authorization provider and other information so we have seen that authorization server is issuing you authorization token now to validate those token the server where the resource is belonging to which is called as a resource server as well right? so this resource server will make use of a spring security or to resource server how we can make use of it if you go to palm.xml right very basic configuration you just need to have a Spring Boot Starter or to Resource Server. This is the one dependency that you have to do add in the Spring Boot project and which will auto configure security for you. Which means every controller or every resource that you are exposing, right? For example, right, this slash hello. When you expose this method and you have added the Spring Security or to Resource Server capabilities, by default, the configuration will make sure that any resource that you are accessing have to validate the security. So our application is started. So this is the local host 8081 where this resource service is running. This is the bare token that we have to provide. So for example, if we are not providing any authorization, so it is complaining 401 unauthorized. That means this request, whoever sending this request is not authorized okay let's see how we can do it right so as a authorization server we'll get the token authorization token from the server right once we have got the token we'll say okay i need the bear token need to pass bear token we'll pass the bear token okay so you can see so it is 200 okay and it is returning me the response. Now key clock is shut down, right? Let's try again this one. So now this authorization server is down and when we have hit the send button, it is saying 401 unauthorized. Let's check the logs. So you can see IO error on get request for open ID configuration. How it is happening is whenever any request comes in, Spring or to resource server is trying to connect with the authorization server to get the well-known open id configurations okay now you will be thinking okay where we have configured this if i open application dot properties so this is the property which we have set spring security or to resource server jwt issuer url of the authorization server which is issuing these authorization token so 
you can see localhost 8080 realm slash master so because this master realm is issuing this token so now because the key clock server is down right it is not able to get to the authorization server okay now let me try run this server again okay so now let me try again okay now this time it is able to connect right okay so let's talk about this audiences property so for example if i am making it as audience as account underscore dummy right let me restart it and let's hit this so we are getting 401 unauthorized right because the audience is here is account okay now if we just correct this right and let's restart the service if i try to hit again yeah so because now audiences are matching right so it is able to give back the response quickly i want to touch upon one more thing which it provides a spring uh, security it is pre authorized right if you use this annotation and for this you have to enable the web security and enable global method security and pre post enable equal to true so that pre authorization or post authorization you are able to uh, make use of so what this pre authorized done is before uh, executing this method token should have this scope now suppose if i am just making it some different so uh, if i am saying it needs the say hello scope right just a custom scope i am saying right so if i re refresh it right now i try to use this token this is not 401 because your token is correct this token is issued by the authorization server but because this token doesn't have the authority or the scope say hello scope that is why we are getting 403 forbidden right because we don't have now permission to access this server If you like the video uh, please leave the comment and please provide your suggestions thank you